everybody, it's Andrew here at Vespa Portland with another video. Today we're going to be talking about a sort of crappy subject, scooter theft. Uh, scooter theft is pretty common, unfortunately. It's in Portland in the last year, it really spiked. Uh, there was a time in the summer where we were hearing about like three scooters a week getting stolen. Thankfully, that has tapered off quite a bit. Uh, and we're also now hearing stories about people getting their scooters back, which is excellent. And a big part of that recovery effort, in our city at least, is uh, two pretty solid resources. The first one, if you're in the scooter world, you should be, and you're on Facebook, you should be following Portland Scooter Club. Uh, not only a great resource to go find rides with fun people throughout the year, but also uh, to post a scooter uh, that's stolen or to look at scooters that are stolen so that this community as they ride around can keep an eye out uh, for your, your bike. Another one on Instagram is called Moto Finder PDX. Uh, Kind of more motorcycle focused, but uh, plenty of scooters have been posted there too. And uh, some of them have been recovered. So congrats to the folks lately who've uh, had their bikes brought back. Uh, the fact remains though, scooter theft is still a thing and um, you can work to try to avoid it. Um, there's always gonna be some negative Nancy out there who's like, uh, uh, uh. If they want your bike, they're just gonna take it. Whatever you try is worthless. Well, yeah, I mean, if someone wants your scooter, they're going to pick it up and put it in a truck and drive away and deal with whatever locking mechanism or whatever you'd put on it uh, at their own leisure. But a big part of theft deterrent is just making something a pain in the ass. Uh, you've got crimes of opportunity where if it's easy to steal something, someone will. If it's not easy, maybe they move on to something else uh, to take or just give up. And there's never a data point for that because when you come out to your scooter in the morning and it's still there, there's nothing to tell you that, oh, someone tried to take this last night, but they saw X security system on it and uh, decided to go about their way. Uh, we only hear about it when it gets stolen. So it just kind of perpetuates that everything you do is useless kind of narrative. So what we're going to talk about in this video is the uh, Vespa Piaggio branded alarm, the factory alarm that can be installed on pretty much any Piaggio scooter, uh, Liberty 150, BV350, and the MP3500. And then on the Vespa line, it's any of the fuel injected ones. So 50cc Primavera and Sprint from model year 2020 onward. And then of course the Primavera and Sprint 150s from the time they came out back to 2014. And then the GTS 300 line, of course. Uh, okay, let's talk operation. So this particular GTS, we just installed the, the factory alarm on it. And the only way you can really tell is that we have this LED light on the left side here that is uh, gonna indicate the alarm's functions. So if I was parking uh, in public, first thing you would wanna do, of course, is turn your bars to the left and lock your steering. You always wanna do that. I can't stress that enough. It's insane how many scooters I see around Portland that are, are sitting on a street, just like bars unlocked, just sitting like this. Like someone can walk away with your scooter like that. Stop doing that. Put your bars to the left and lock your steering. Okay, so let's get this thing operated. So on the key fob, I'll pop up a picture on the video. So in the top left corner, there's a padlock icon. If you press that one time, it will uh, arm the, the alarm. Uh, your indication that this is arming is that this LED light comes on solid, and this is going to go into what the factory calls as neutral time. So for 30 seconds, you can still put a key in here and open the seat or open the glove box or turn it on real quick and check the time, you know, whatever, maybe you forgot something in here you need to get. You've got 30 seconds to do that before the scooter arms itself. Okay, the light has gone out and now it's just doing some slight flashing. That's indicating that the alarm is set and uh, if anyone messes with this scooter, it's gonna go off. So the alarm has two triggers that'll make it sound. Uh, one of which is if you were to put even the factory key into the ignition and turn it all the way to the right, uh, that will cause the alarm to, to go off. Um, if somebody stuffed a screwdriver in there and tried to turn the ignition to the right to the on switch, that would also uh, cause it to go off. Of course, nobody said thieves were intelligent. Uh, your Vespa comes with a chipped key, your newer versions, and uh, a screwdriver wouldn't turn this scooter on anyway. The next trigger for the alarm going off would be vibration. So it's a, it's a tilt sensor. And there's actually five settings you can, you can set this thing to, to where you like just kind of smack the handlebars or take it off the center stand, uh, that'll trigger it. Or you can set it to a higher uh, sensitivity to where like you really gotta move this thing around, shake it around to get it to go. Um, in a city, maybe you wanna default somewhere around the medium setting. So you know some giant truck driving by doesn't set off your alarm in the middle of the night. Um, Ultimately up to you, you just see what works for your situation. 
So we'll see if we can get it to go real quick. <laughs> All right. All right, geez, that was loud. So uh, turning this thing uh, off, you just use the same padlock uh, button and that'll turn the alarm off. It signaled with the two beeps that you get and then this light goes off and then you can go ahead and put your key back in when you get back to your scooter and turn it on and everything's good. You also have a panic option. So if on your key fob, if you just press that panic button right there, you'll get an alarm and you just press again to stop it. And then uh, if you were used to using your key fob in your uh, GTS or Vespa Primavera Sprint to open the seat, uh, once the alarm's installed, your seat moves down to this kind of asterisk button and it pops up the same way. All right, thanks for watching. Best of luck to you all in keeping your scooters safe. We're gonna do a few other videos about uh, other safety things uh, that you could consider to keep your bike uh, in your ownership. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. This is Andrew here at Vespa Portland. See you next time. Yeah, I'm done. Is it? <laughs> <laughs>